DTE has supported um, FIRST Robotics for over a decade now. It's really important for us to focus on FIRST um, as a STEM education and support, but FIRST Robotics really a way for kids to have exposure not only to IT and engineering activities, but individuals that want, maybe want to focus in marketing and accounting, project management, they get team experience, and then what we as DTE, we're looking for the next generation of individuals that come to work for DTE. This is a perfect uh, way to get connected to those students and to bring the, that talent into our company. What's really important to us is uh, we want to make sure that the talent demands of the future are being met in Michigan. And certainly for a company like ours, we're going through a profound transformation in our industry, uh, new ways of generating power, finding new ways to reliably and affordably deliver that power, uh, both gas and electricity to our customers. We need the kind of talent and creativity and ingenuity that uh, is being turned out in programs like FIRST. Well, when we found out that uh, Detroit was going to be hosting uh, the world competitions last year, that was a great opportunity for us to create um, support, help with the experience here, show individuals the energy industry, um, and again, because the state of Michigan has the highest number of teens across the world, this was a great place for us to, to be able to um, you know, uh, show um, the support that we have here in the state of Michigan for FIRST Robotics. This has been such a fun uh, event here in Detroit. I've actually been to St. Louis a World Championships the last three years, and it was a great event there, but this has absolutely raised the bar. The excitement inside of this, this building, the competitions, the uh, Innovators Fair, all of the activities that are going around in and around to Detroit. Uh, it is an absolute blast being down here this weekend, and I think that Detroit is showing, once again, the incredible progress that's being made.